Welcome. This question says, consider a parallel plate capacitor that is used to create a uniform electric field. The electric field goes from positive to negative, and between parallel plate capacitors, it's, it's nice and uniform. Um, a 9 volt battery is attached, connected between the plates. Uh, the, this is the symbol for a, a, a battery and the plates have a gap of two meters so this is two meters express the electric field in volts per meter which we're not uh, so used to and newtons per coulomb which is what we started off expressing our electric field as and i have to tell you that they are equivalent to each other so the volts per meter is the same numerical value as the newtons per coulomb so let me begin by justifying that and if I say, well, we have a volt per meter, and from our definitions, we know that a volt uh, is a, uh, um, it's going to be a joule per coulomb. The voltage is the uh, energy per coulomb between two points. Um, so and that's joule per coulomb, but we still have our meters. And we recall from before that a joule, of course, is work. Uh, and so that is going to be a uh, force times a distance, which would be Newton meters over coulombs per meter, which gives us Newtons per coulomb. So 10 volts per meter is the same as 10 Newtons per coulomb. 15 volts per meter is the same as 15 volts per coulomb. So 15 newtons per coulomb. So we can just switch backwards and forwards between the two. So what is this one saying? This is saying that 9 volts, my voltage is 9 volts, volts per meter, equals 9 volts, and my separation between the two plates is 2 meters. So this would be 4.5 uh, uh, newtons, uh, sorry, volts per meter, and that equals 4.5 joules per coulomb. Um, sorry, <laughs> and and that equals. <laughs> where's my eraser? Quickly, <laughs> and that equals um, 4.5 newtons per coulomb. <laughs> There we have it.